Hello everyone, this is Sir Wedge of HighSchoolPoms.tech and welcome back to EduCognition. Being the person tasked to consolidate our division field ERI reports is a very tedious task especially if you are not good in Excel. We have 20 districts in our division and the largest of which has 40 schools. We will download this folder where all the reports are located and will show you the fastest and most efficient way to consolidate it. The downloading is already finished and I already extracted all of the files on my desktop. Let me show you how the files look like so that you can see what we're gonna be consolidating. I will be working on the GSC English and Filipino results pre-desk for each school and will only be concerned with the total of each category, male and female for those who passed and failed it. So let's make a new file by pressing Ctrl M on our keyboards. We'll copy the base layout of our sample so that the report we'll make will look similar to our source reports. We'll change the grade header to schools and the sheet name to the district's name too. Let's delete all the data here. And since this district has 40 schools, we'll make rows enough to accommodate it by adding new rows. I think this is enough. Typically, most would copy and paste all the totals for each school report here, which would mean they would open and close each file one at a time. This would be very time consuming and very tiring as well. Let's close this file and show you how to complete this task a lot faster. Right click on the sheet name here and choose View Code. The Visual Basic window will open right after that. Go to Insert and click on Module. A new module window will open for our file. You will be pasting the codes here which you can find in our website at https highschoolforms.tech. The link is available in our description below. The codes will look like this. You copy all of it and paste it back on our Visual Basic window. Within the code, you need to add the address of your files which are inside your folder. You can find the address or path of your files by going back to the file explorer, click the inverted arrow here, and you will automatically find the address of your folder. Copy this address, go back to the module, and paste it in between the quotation marks. Once you finish that, add a backslash at the end of the address to indicate that you're fetching all the files contained in this folder. And that's it. You only need to click the play or run button here and wait for Excel to finish loading up all of your files and transferring it inside this new spreadsheet we created. You can now close this window and inside the file we created, there are new spreadsheets made. These are all of the files we downloaded and fetched easily using our code. With all 40 schools reports inside our newly created sheet, we can now easily consolidate all of our reports. You should also notice that the sheet names of these newly created tabs are based on the sheet names of the original files. Since this is a standard template I made for schools, all of it have the same names which is school year 2019-2020. Excel automatically recognizes these files and immediately identified it with a number inside each parenthesis. The next step would be the highlight of our tutorial, which is fetching all of the total of each report. Since the goal is to save time, we need to look up our results for each sheet using their sheet names. So I'll just start by encoding those sheet names here inside the school's column and we'll change all of it later when I'm done. We're done encoding all of the sheet names inside our school's column. And since these sheets are arranged in descending order, which means that the last school here, Upper Masawang Elementary School, is the school year 2019-2020-40 sheet, which also happens to be the nearest sheet of my master sheet, Marilog District. The goal is to get all the total here for all of the sheets and transfer it here in our master sheet. And if you're going to do it conventionally, which is copy-pasting all of the files, that would take so much time moving from one sheet to the other. So let's start using our VLOOKUP by typing equals VLOOKUP and since I'm looking for the total, I just use it as my lookup value here, lock it by pressing F4 on my keyboard so that the value won't change as I move the formula in other cells, put a comma here, and I should look for the table array which means I need to go here, I'll start on the first cell up here and move up to the last cell of our data table, after which I'll put a comma right after and identify the column number. Remember that I'm looking for the male column right now which is under the B column of our sheet or the second column since it is the second letter of the alphabet. 
so I'll just put 2 here and comma again right after. And I need to find the exact match of this lookup so I choose false and put a closing parenthesis and press enter. So the result is 7. Let's compare it from the source sheet. Is it 7? And yes it is. The next thing to do here is to change our source array dynamically so that I may just copy this formula across all other cells. We can do that by using an indirect function. Let's start by typing indirect here and then put a quotation mark before and after the first apostrophe. And right after it, I need to put an AND symbol to tell Excel that I'm looking for a text. Then you click the name of the source sheet which is B44, add another AND symbol to tell Excel that's the text, erase this since this is already replaced by the indirect function, add another quotation mark, lock the range of the cells since this should not be changing, add the final quotation mark, and place the closing parenthesis to end the indirect formula, and press enter to see if it works. Now if we're going to copy this cell and move it here to the 39th row, it should be looking on the 39th sheet. But we also need to get the female results which is the third column of our table, which means we need to get the column index number dynamic as well. We can do that by going back to our formula. Since I'm looking at columns, I'll type columns. And since it's A to B, so I'll just type A colon B to mean A to B. I need to lock A since this is the first column and let B change as the formula is copied across. Let's also lock B of B44 to keep the source column fixed no matter what number of rows it is used. So when we press enter, and drag the formula to the right for female, the code will dynamically adapt for the sheet name and column number of the lookup function. By pressing Ctrl R repeatedly, the formula will get the correct data from the source sheets. And we're gonna do the same to the other rows, so I'll just copy the cell, paste it here, and highlight all of the columns within this row. Press Ctrl R, it will fetch the data here on the 39 sheet correctly. To complete the report, copy this cell, paste it on the first row, highlight the columns, Ctrl R, then highlight to the last row down, press Ctrl D, and voila, we got our reports in an instant. Last step, put the sum formula here by typing equals sum, highlight all of the cells under this column, press enter, drag it across the table, Ctrl R, and that's the total of each column of our report. Delete these empty rows, and our report is ready to be polished for submission to our heads of office. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please continue supporting our channel by subscribing and sharing our videos to all of our teachers in the field. Hit that thumbs up button too, and we really appreciate that. This is Sir Wentz of iSchoolForms.Tech, and thank you for watching.